I have found through working out, uh, lifting, running, whatever, that 99.9% .9 of the time, you mentally quit before you physically quit. Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we are back to talk about Minuteman teams, and specifically organizing a uh, team challenge, I'm just gonna call it that because I don't know what else to call it, event uh, for your team. So I've been thinking about this a lot uh, past, I don't know, a month or two or whatever, but when you think about special forces units, right? The SEALs, the Army Special Forces, the Marine Recon, whatever, you pick your poison, okay? The F British SAS. What separates those units from just everyday grunt ground infantry guys? Like what is it? What really separates them? And you could say, oh, you know, I mean, it's all the fancy toys, right? They get all the cool gear and the quads and the you know, the stuff and the submarine insertions and they can jump out of airplanes and they, they have all the cool toys. You could say that, you could say they have all the specialized training, right? Like they're all trained as medics and radio operators and they're able to network better because they have people skill training and you know, whatever. Like you could say they have all this specialized training. But at the end of the day, really what I would argue it comes down to is those people do not quit when everyone else does. They have trained themselves, they have been selected to be people who never quit. They just don't quit, they just keep going. They will not quit, right? That's why they have uh, seals, you know, sit in the surf for hours in like the 50 degree bay in San Francisco or whatever, uh, to, to weed out the quitters. Who's gonna quit and who's not gonna quit? Who's gonna go well beyond what they could ever imagine doing. That's why they have these like selections, these final selection tasks of like rucking 40 miles with like a 60 pound pack. They go through these ridiculous inhuman rucks, not because they want you to be physically fit enough to do that, because it really doesn't matter how physically fit you are, at some point you're, you're gonna be in pain, right? Being fit helps. Uh, but because they wanna know who's gonna quit and who's not gonna quit. That's what they want to know. We need people who are never gonna quit ever. When all hope is lost and when we're all gonna die here, it doesn't matter, you're not gonna quit, you're gonna keep going. So, thinking about that principle. Now, I'm not a full-time military guy, you're probably not a full-time military guy. We can't devote hours and days and weeks and months of just you know full-time training all the time. We, we can't do that, right? We have normal lives, normal jobs. So how can we take that principle, that principle of selecting people who don't quit, of challenging ourselves beyond what we think is possible so we learn not to quit. How can we take that principle and apply that on a minor level in order to get value out of it? And that's where, out of that idea, I come back to the team challenge idea for your Minuteman team. And it's real simple. It's doing some kind of arduous physical challenge in order to mentally challenge yourself. It's that simple, to see who's gonna quit and who's not gonna quit, to see when you're gonna quit and where you need to go beyond, right? That's the whole purpose of a team challenge event. So, for me and my guys, uh, we organized a 10 mile ruck uh, with 30 pounds of gear plus water and uh, did a night hike. Not a hike, I didn't call it a hike, it's not like we were in the woods. We were on a, we were on a paved path and just a 10 mile ruck. I think it ended up being like 10.8 miles all in and we rocked the whole thing, started uh, just before the sunset and, and kept going until we completed it. And for me and my team, that was, our, that was our challenge. Now, some of you might look at that and say 10 miles, 30 pounds, I mean, come back to me when you're really doing rucking, Dylan. And okay, I mean, yeah, you know, whatever. But for me and my crew and how much rucking we normally do, that for us, that was a challenge, right? That was beyond the scope of what we normally do. Uh, so we spend more, most of our time out in the woods, you know, doing the shooting and the, and the moving around and the patrolling, whatever. But to just have like a 10 mile pure ruck in order to figure out where our mental stop point is was very helpful. We all made it, it was good. Uh, next time I'd like to go further, I think, to again, I wanna find that point. For me personally, at about mile, I don't know, eight, mile nine, somewhere in there, I got to the point where I was mentally like, okay, I'm ready to be done. 
I no longer want to be here. It is now work in order to complete this, right? And I had some blisters for a couple days. Uh, I had some weird, uh, severe muscle pain on the side of my leg from like my T-band, which I don't know, I didn't see that coming. I was, I was prepared for like my quads and my, my glutes, but not, my, not the side of my leg. Anyways, you, you people who ruck a lot probably know more about this than I do. Point being is that we decided to do something that was physically challenging in order to get a mental challenge out of it, right? In order, I wanna see on my team who's gonna be uncomfortable, who's gonna complain, who's gonna quit, who's gonna start you know, whining about how we shouldn't be here and this is a terrible idea. Who's gonna show up? Like, these are the things I wanna start finding out now rather than, you know, once China invades or whatever. When you look at like uh, Navy SEAL training, for instance, I remember as a kid, I read this thing about how uh, Navy SEAL training is 90% mental and 10% physical. And if you look at like what they actually do in buds, you can be like, oh, that doesn't make any sense because it's ridiculous like four mile uh, beach runs and a couple mile ocean swims. And at one point they do like a 16 mile um, run and you know they have hell week where they're basically awake for five days in a row and you know all this stuff. And you could look at that and say, well, that's extremely physically challenging. And yes, it is. However, the people who designed that understood something, right? They understood that you mentally quit before you physically quit. And so we are gonna push things to physical insanity extremes in order to find those people who mentally just give up, who just can't, can't do it anymore. Because it's not as much about how much in shape you are, although, hey, that's a baseline. You have to be in shape in order to accomplish those things. It's really about who is gonna be mentally prepared to make it, right? Who's not gonna quit. And so with that principle in mind, the, the principle of we want to train ourselves to not mentally quit, I suggest that you would do a team challenge with your, your guys, right? Whatever that is, it could just be you and your buddy, it could be you and a couple guys, but organize for yourself some kind of team challenge. It could be something as simple as a ruck, which is what we did. Maybe for you it's different, right? But find something that's gonna be physically exhausting and challenging and hard and have your team do it together. One, again, find out who's gonna quit, who's not gonna quit, find out where your quit point is. Two, uh, it's just a team building experience, right? It helps you function as a team under some mental and physical stress, which is always gonna be good, to be able to function better with, um, as a team under mental and physical stress. So that would be my uh, idea to you. Let me know how it goes. Let me know if you have any other brilliant uh, team challenge ideas because, you know, I'm always open to new team challenge ideas. Hope this was helpful. Hope it gives you something to think about. I hope it gives you something to do and that when your day comes, you are prepared to meet the challenge. Not because you have this miracle rise of ability where an angel blesses you and you just have magical abilities, but rather because you put in the work, you prepared, and when the challenge comes, it's a walk in the park because you've done harder things before. Do brave deeds and endure.